button and buttonholes, um, <laughs> buttonholes on there. Come on. Oh. Don't be distracted. Okay. So now where do, uh, if my, this is going to be the end of the pattern here, then where do the buttons lie? On that edge. Right, on the old center front line. Okay. So you align the buttons on? On the center line. The extension is on both sides? Yes. Okay. So it's near the pattern. The extension is on both sides? Yes. The extension is on my For my button extension, it's because it fits this little uh, mm -hmm. hole punch. <laughs> is that, is that, that a standard? No. Is there any sort of standard in the industry where, like, the size of buttons? Yes. Yeah. The only standard is that they have their own system of um, naming. Okay. So. Because normally, like, the button that you have right now is normally what, like, almost all cardigans have. Well, they they are. This is about, a, this is a half inch. So a shirt would be generally around a half inch or five eighths. A jacket is going to be bigger, but okay. it can really be whatever. It can, it has the whole range. Okay, and in your book, they have um, button sizes. Page 368 in your book is a, a, a abbreviated um, list of button sizes as they're named in the industry, and I honestly don't know where these come from. It may be the French or something, because they're mm -hmm. called line numbers. Okay, and if you ever buy buttons through a company that sells buttons, they don't know the size three quarters inch. They're going to look at it, talk to you about it in terms of the line numbers. Okay, and actually on your final, um, they give you the line numbers. They don't ask for the little hint there. So for a three-quarter inch button, uh, this one? You yeah, have to measure it because I don't know it. I just have a chart on the wall. Line 30 probably. So you want to have your first button, place your first button down about one, one quarter from the neckline. That's the top of your button. So if this is my button, it's going to sit like that. Okay. Then you can mark the bottom of your button. Okay. And find the middle. The top button. Um, is the only one that you mark where the where the top is. From there on out, you're going to find the center of the button. Measure from center to center. Okay, so you draw in your button. Okay, now then I can choose where I want my bottom button to be, somewhere down there. Like your belly button or something. Yeah, like, well, you choose as you. You know, it depends a, on whether I, I you. I'm not sure it's where the button placement on the bottom is wrong. Like Jason, you can put it right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, technically, you would want to have one button at your breast level so that it doesn't yeah. go down there, yeah, so it yeah, opens. Yeah. 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 Good so call. you just want to think yeah. about stuff. You don't want There's breast. not a rule, it's just yeah. that you want to think about Gaping hole on the tendon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So then you can uh, place evenly, and I'm not going to go over the formula and the argument over the formula this time. So place oh evenly your buttons uh, spaced apart, generally. You know, sometimes they have style there. That's what my brain does not work in dividing fractions like that. that seems You'll get it after a while. Mine doesn't either, but I. That's why there's calculators. Calculators don't do it in fractions. Mm -hmm. Maybe you do. buy like a TI-83 thing. Like, yeah. Oh. Okay, so you're going to want to have a notch at the center front of your bodice. You don't really need one at the bottom because nothing's really happening down there unless you want Ouch. to know oh. that for your <laughs> uh, button placement. Okay. Oh okay. So notch the top and the bottom of the top center front. Top and the bottom of the center front. That's, That's going to tell you right. both where your buttons are going to lay, lie. Okay, and also where your collar is going to end because it fall, it stops before the extension. You have right, like a little piece sticking out. And that's the center of just the center. <coughs> that's the center front. Okay. So now we're going to start working on the collar. So if I had my collar here, my little Peter Pan is going to look good, kind of like that. Can we just kind of draw them whatever? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like it when we do that. Um, should I start with the Peter Pan collar? Maybe that would be easier. Oh, well right, it's all not Peter Draper, it's just that's on NC. I was thinking about like my Friday class. Oh, yeah, it's so Tuesday today. Yeah, I did. I got fast that for seven hours. Okay. So Gonna, um, I'm gonna start with the Peter Pan the, collar because um, that's the one that's due for homework. Two days before. Right. Yeah. Okay. So for the Peter Pan collar, you're gonna do start with a folded piece of paper. 